I bet you it loaded. I bet you it took so long to load, only because uh, this 3DS cannot load stuff as quick. Like if I try to look up messages or something, it usually takes 20 seconds for it to load it up sometimes. Let us now reconvene. I still think they should have made the uh, the sunlight red here as a good final battle-esque thing going for us. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution has never been more than ready. You know, this is the first time we've been at the defense bench together since I debuted. Now that you mention it, Wow, that, it's true! Although back then, I thought you were more loud than you were real loud. <laughs> You've really come a long way since then, Apollo. You've grown a lot. Well, there have been a few hiccups, but I guess I've done pretty well for myself. He's got that- he's still got that ego of his, though. <laughs> Prosecutor Blackwell. <clears throat> With the seven-year mistake now resolved, you can finally take your rightful place. Um, yes! I guess we can keep that- keep the chit-chat for later. Notice how he doesn't have his, uh, wrist ba- his- wristbands on anymore, either? Oh yeah, it's serious time now. Bailiff! Please, bring in the witness! Immediately! Even with those handcuffs off, Prosecutor Blackwell seems to be pretty much the same. Well, you can't just go, like, from grumpy man to happy guy after spending seven years in prison. Can ya? <laughs> Seven years of grumpiness doesn't go away so easily, I guess. See, yeah, even Phoenix got the whole point of that. You! <laughs> Bobby Fulbright here! Cut the frickin' crap! I heard I was needed on the stand, so here I am! <laughs> Detective Fulbright. Do you know why you have been called to give testimony? Yep, cause there is only one reason why I'd be called. And that is because it's time for justice! Injustice we trust! Someone has not been informed of anything, I think. That or he's still playing stupid. Objection! Or just plain stupid. You can't fool us with the act anymore! Your justice is nothing but lies! What? Are you questioning the integrity of my sense of justice? I mean, sure, sometimes I make mistakes, but hey! He's acting exactly the same as always. Tell me about it. He must be feeling awfully confident. Well, he does have no emotion. Kinda, sorta, going for him, so yeah. Fulbright, if you wish to dispel our suspicions, then let's get to your testimony. Alright, fine! You want me to prove my righteousness? I can certainly do that! <laughs> I am the very embodiment of justice itself! I hope that's not all of your, 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 like, spiel for this testimony. I won't have you make me into a villain with your far-fetched arguments! And this bit about the escape route is only a theory. You don't have any proof. 
What we do have is proof that Athena Sykes is the culprit. The, this lighter with her prints on it. You were all about, uh, sorry that Athena was, um, Athena's prints were on it. But now that suspicion points to you, you're like, oh, Athena did it. Yep, Athena did it. Hmm, so you're saying the suspicions against you are completely false? And the defendant is still the real culprit? That's right! Mr. Lawyer's escape route is totally circumstantial! He doesn't have any proof that I made a big leap onto a ladder? We don't have proof. You are correct about that. However, you don't have any proof for your claim either. Ah, I guess you're right. But you can't define justice with evidence. Who can define it anyway? Justice just is. Objection! Don't make me break out a dictionary on you! No, good, please! Don't throw the book at me! <laughs> the, all these stupid justice puns. Ugh, tell me the Phantom didn't just make me set up a stupid pun for him. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just try not to lose focus, all right? Kinda hard after stup so many stupid puns. But my justice is crystal clear. What's not clear are your eyes. Wake up and smell the justice. Shut up. Silence. Thank you. Enough of your rubbish, Fulbright. If you have any, even an ounce of justice, then you will answer the court's questions and prove it. Prosecutor Blackwill? Prosecutor Blackwill looks torn. Well, Fulbright was his partner after all. Yeah, that's kind of the case. Kind of like I'm pretty sure if... Let's just put this... Let's put the time machine back a little bit. If uh, Gumshoe, back in the day, did a crime that um, Edgeworth didn't know about. And Edgeworth trusted Gumshoe to an extent. <laughs> um, but then found out his detective partner was the blame. For something that led him to jail, pretty much. How would you feel? How would you feel about that? If, like, for example, if Case Four on the first game, if Detective Gumshoe was the was the murderer that pulled uh, Edgeworth into almost going to jail, how would how do you think Edgeworth would feel about that? Actually, I think Edgeworth would feel about the same as Blackwell as wanting to tear him limb to limb. <laughs> Hmm. Prosecutor Blackwell is right. The truth will be revealed in the cross-examination. The suspicions against Detective Fulbright are, at this point, only suspicious. As is my duty, I will judge the claims against the detective as important, partially as I can. Does anyone have any objections? That's fine, Your Honor. <laughs> now, ask away, and don't hold back. Okay, I'll just keep pressing you. Well, there does don't appear to be any objections. Very well, Mr. Wright, please begin your cross-examination. Okay. 
Ha ha ha! I'm the very embodiment of justice. Ho Hold it! Don't be a freaking egotistical, stupid idiot. The embodiment of justice? Those are just empty words! But they say if you keep saying something, it can eventually become the truth. Isn't that how people make their dreams come true too? By wishing over and over? Yeah, and trying to put in the freaking work. Alright, alright, let's just move on. <laughs> that was a stupid conversation. I won't have you make me into a villain with your far-fetched uh, arguments. Hold it! My arguments are hardly far-fetched. There's careful reasoning behind my theory. Yes, well, apparently, there's reasoning behind even a tofu burger. Your reasoning is stupid. But what we have against Miss Sykes, though, is not just reasoning, but solid evidence. And it's called the lighter, with Miss Sykes' fingerprints on it, in the victim's blood. Yes, uh, that's true, but... But wait, Detective Fulbright was the one who brought that evidence to the trial. If you, har if you harbor any suspicions, I suggest you ask Fulbright right, Dono. Especially about that lighter. He's right, but what exactly should I ask about? Position of the prince? Please tell the court about the position of the prince on the lighter. They're around the same spot on either side, as they would be if she were holding it up. Hmm. I suppose if it was used to light the room, it would be held that way. Could you please add that statement to your testimony? I want to go back. The prince were placed just the way they would be if someone were holding it, lit. Yeah, let's go back. Hold it! Hold it. Hold it. Wait, I don't remember this part of the... Then, after the launch pads were switched, she ran out of the space museum, where her image was caught by the security camera. Yeah. Not evidence. I probably... I should probably save this fight for another time. Was it this? I think it was this. Hold it! Where- I wanna switch- I forget what state- yeah. Wait, what? Why am I get- able to ask so many questions? Holy crap. About the lab. Please tell us anything you remember about the lab. The lab, huh? Well, it was so messy, there was hardly anywhere to step. I guess they were in the middle of building a giant robot. Yeah, that's pretty much how it looked when we visited the this afternoon, too. Okay, I know the drill. You want me to add this to my testimony, don't you? What? No, um... Way ahead of you! I'll just add it in!
This looks like a bad statement to do that. <clears throat> okay, let's press this. I think this was the one. The one and only. After Miss Sykes murdered Mr. Terran, she escaped in the Space Museum. That's when she probably dropped the lighter. Then after the launch pads were switched, she ran out of the Space Museum. Where her image was caught. Yeah, we've already... We've already talked about that. Hold it! Hold it. Yes, Miss Blackwell did mention she saw a lit lighter being held up. Yup! Meaning the person Miss Blackwell saw was the owner of the fingerprints! It just strengthens the argument against Miss Sykes! Uh, this line of questioning is going to get me anywhere except conviction land. Hmm, should I try asking him something else? Number of prints. So how many prints were found exactly? Three. The thumb, the index finger, and the middle finger of a right hand. What? That's like you're trying to hold a T or something. Your Honor. That is an important statement! Could we please have it... swapped into my testimony? You got it! He beat me to it. <laughs> Be it investigating or testifying, speed is the key. Three prints were on the lighter, the thumb, index finger, and middle fingers of a right hand. Objection. Objection. Objection! I knew it. You say the prints were from a right hand? Is that correct? That's right! Very clear prints! But that just doesn't add up. Huh? What doesn't add up? According to Miss Blackwell, who saw the culprit herself, this person held the lighter in their left hand. Oh? So here is the dilemma before us. Why are the prints on the lighter from a right hand instead of a left? Hmm, <laughs> you're right. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Your Honor, this lighter can hardly be called incriminating evidence. The witness, the witness's claims don't even hold water. Detective Fulbright, I hope you have a good explanation for this. Hmm. I just can't understand it. They're definitely right hand prints. But then, why are they inconsistent with Miss Blackwell's statement? Hmm. I've got it! What have you got, Detective? The mirror! The witness must have seen a reflection of the culprit in the mirror. Go on. Miss Blackwell was looking in through the window of Boarding Lounge 1, wasn't she? I believe so. If you mean that the little window in the back to the right of the room... That's right, and across the room on the opposite wall... is a large mirror. Hmm, I do remember seeing it. Ah! Uh, so, are you saying? 
Yes, the culprit Miss Blackwell saw must have been a reflection of that person in the mirror. Ah, I see. In that case, right and left would appear reversed, wouldn't they? <laughs> now do you see? That's the logic of pure justice! Objection! But your argument is only conjecture. You don't have any proof that what Miss Blackwell saw was a reflection objection. Silence. Or silence. Right, Dono. You'd sooner lick yourself than him like that. Put some more muscle into it. Huh? <laughs> That's right! Besides, the lighter couldn't have been in the left hand! And why not? Miss Blackwell said she saw an Earth emblem on the lighter, didn't she? That emblem is only on one side of the lighter. You're right, there's no emblem on the other side. Exactly! As blank and smooth as the judge's fine scalp! If the culprit had the held the lighter in their left hand, they would have covered the emblem. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. What's more, this is the kind of lighter you flick open with your thumb before lighting. So if the culprit had held it in their left hand when the um, emblem with the emblem out and visible, they would have been able to open it, let alone, they wouldn't have been able to open it, let alone light it. But if they held it in their right hand, they could have easily opened it and lit it. This all means that the culprit was definitely holding the lighter in their right hand. No! Come back! <laughs> My beautiful contradiction! <laughs> it appears you've planted a flower that bears no fruit. <laughs> See how it withers before my flower of justice? He's tough. He's managed to discredit almost everything I've proven up to this point. In justice we trust! Now, do you see? I'm not this phantom you've been talking about. I mean, are you sure there really is a spy? I bet they're a f just a figment of your imagination. Oh, it's so sad. So very sad. But I'm afraid Miss Sykes is the culprit. <laughs> okay. Hold it! Detective Fulbright, I believe you said that the emblem is only on one side of the lighter. Are you sure about that? Hmm? Of course I'm sure. Why don't you take a look for yourself and see? Do you see an earth emblem on both sides of the lighter? I knew it. You're lying, detective. P pardon me? You mean... Yes, my bracelet reacted to a statement about the emblem. He's definitely hiding something big. And I think if we use my talent, we might be able to figure it out. Justice Dono, are you to use that cheat of yours again? It's not cheating, Prosecutor Blackwell! Humph. <laughs> Very well. Whether I like it or not, I suppose we should use whatever works right now. Go on, then. We have Prosecutor Blackwell's reluctant blessing. Apparently. Uh, okay, Apollo, you're up! Here goes, then. Detective Fulbright! 
Could you repeat that last statement one more time? What in the world are you up to? Hmm... Alright, fine. I'll say it as many times as you like. Listen carefully. <laughs> the Earth Emblem is only on the side that you can see when held with in your right hand. In the right hand. Wait! I saw something! But we can't perceive it now. We'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait. Detective Fulbright, you might not be aware of it yourself, but whenever you say the phrase, the Earth Emblem, your left thumb moves. In fact, it appears as though you're running it along the edge of your holster. M Mr. Lawyer, I don't have the f- oh, Yes, I almost said something else. I haven't- I don't have the foggiest notion what you're talking about! Be that as it may, I know it has something to do with the lighter. Let me examine it. But why? You're not making any, any sense. You can't just- Silence! <laughs> be still, and do as you're told, Fulbright. If you have nothing to hide, you shouldn't mind them having a little look-see, should you? What? Not you too, Prosecutor Blackquill! Hmm, I'm not sure what this is all about, but if Prosecutor insists, the Prosecutor Blackquill insists, it must be something important. I will allow the defense to examine the lighter. Yig. Good. Now maybe we can learn something new. I hope so. Let's check every inch of this thing. Oh man, we haven't done this since like Apollo Justice 4, I think. And yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Like Hmm. Huh. The back is covered with blood. Say, do you notice anything about it, uh, funny about this blood stain? You're right. It suddenly breaks off unnaturally. Suppo supposedly the lighter was held with the right hand so that the emblem was visible. So, if so, the prints should be around the emblem and on the lid where you open it. You're right. There's definitely something off here. No, we've already... We've already talked about this. It's hard to tell if the prints are from a right hand or a left hand just by looking at it. I don't think looking at the print will, with the naked eye will tell us anything new. 
this lighter definitely hides a secret. I agree. Let's check it out carefully. Okay. Wait. I think I know what's up here. I'm just checking everything else first. I don't see anything unusual about the top of the lid. But Detective Fulbright's words were definitely hiding something. Let's look for something that has to do with what he said. Yeah, the globe. So this is the Earth Emblem Detective Fulbright was talking about. See anything noteworthy? Noteworthy? Huh. Hey! Look at this! The Earth's... The emblem's actually some kind of button. Oh my god! Wow! It transformed into something... A handle? A trigger? Is this what I think it is? There's no question. It seems what you have there is a gun. A what? Yeah, holy crap! A gun? So that's it.